Hey guys, I'm super excited about today because we're going to talk about how to craft a big idea and like the importance of it, how to find the big idea. As you'll notice, as we go through a lot of the, the coaching and the trainings, you'll figure out that a lot of the questions that I ask are going to help you bring up um, the big idea that will be woven in all of your campaigns and all of your sales pages and will help you come to kind of one major belief that you can take customers through. And if you get them to believe uh, uh, believe this one big idea, they're much more open to you. You build authority and it makes your ad campaigns work a whole lot better. So I started writing down you know, a few uh, key points that I thought of immediately when uh, I think of a big idea. Um, they always have to create like light bulb moments. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually go through like how you can find the big idea and um, all the key elements. So the first thing is it has to create a light bulb moment. So something that the reader, um, as you'll see in a moment, um, will think that they had thought, they wish they would have thought of it first. So some idea that's simple enough, um, it can't be compl complicated. It has to be simple enough for the reader and um, they must like feel like they should have thought of it themselves, but hadn't, if that makes sense. And if you have them look deeper into the problem, it's called introspection. Um, when you have them look at their problem deeper, um, make them look deep within, within inside themselves. When the big idea like brings out a problem and makes them look deeper, they don't feel like they're being sold. They like they, they feel like you're teaching them something about themselves, which kind of like lowers all their um, red flags and nullifies a lot of the objections that they normally would have had. So um, when I go to look for a big idea, um, I'm just going to use sleep as an example because I'm working with someone that has a sleep product. Um, so if I'm looking for a big idea in the sleep market, uh, We'll get into another video on market sophistication and all that. Um, but based on all of those things, I, I start to look at different areas. So what questions people are asking based on based on sleep? And the first place I'll go to look is Quora. So Quora is a great resource because instead of like making up questions, you're actually going and looking for what people are asking. So what I would do um, when I create a big idea, I create a big idea um, Google Doc or um, like a, a page like this. And I start kind of writing down notes based on what I think may be a big idea. So I'll look through here and see if there's anything useful to find based on the big idea. Um, something that offers a new angle. Um, <clears throat> if there's nothing, the next place I'll go is, you'll have to Google search it, but it's actually this exact link. And it'll be um, this link right here. It would be Amazon bestsellers. Um, you look for books and then you search in there. Let's say, you know, for this one, I'll use sleep. Um, you should generally have like three or four like keywords or buzzwords. Why we sleep. So this is, this is a big one um, because, you know, some of the major questions, one of the biggest questions like people have is like why people sleep? Why are we actually, why do we actually need to sleep? Right? So that's looking deeper within and, and trying to understand why we do something, um, it's introspection. So this whole book is based around that. And the places that I start looking for big ideas, and then you can go ahead and look in table of contents, which is also a big uh, place for finding your big idea. See, this offers insight. So what can I connect sleep to? So I can connect sleep to the brain. So that's something that I would kind of write down. Like, all right, um, what can I search for? in a more deeper fashion. So sleep and how it affects brain. So this can be used as a big idea or a hook. So hook slash big idea, um, idea <laughs> big idea options uh, or notes or research. Dreaming is overnight therapy. So that's really interesting. Dreaming to um, uh, 
Uh, the biggest thing with copy or anything like that is you make a claim and then you back it up with proof. It's called anchoring. Um, it's probably the biggest or one of the biggest copy lessons I've ever learned is where you make a claim and then back it up. It's called anchoring. Um, when you anchor anything, it changes sales copy to an argument or a discussion. Uh, and when you change it to a discussion, you're actually changing to changing it to a discussion that you can track and patterns um, and what they're thinking is something that you can track. So uh, you can start to ask yourself, hey, like if I start to write this claim, what are the questions that they would have after I write this? Or if they're going to call BS, what, what are the objections to the statement that I just made that I have to answer? And then once you've answered all those, then you can anchor another claim. And that's kind of how you build a sales page. But in an ad, all you have to do is make one claim or offer one idea of curiosity and get the click onto your, onto your next page. So Amazon is a great resource. Like I said, there's, so there's two spots right there, the description right here, and then you can go in and look at the table of contents, see if there's anything else. Um, so I would just kind of go through all of that. And then finally, the most important, there's enough reviews. Okay, so this one says one of the most important books I've ever read. Like here are facts that you can use in the copy. Um, see, like what I would do is I would just buy the Kindle version of this book and then make sure that I like search this and they'll cite it, they'll cite studies or I'll take this and then like look in Google Scholar um, to find actual studies based. So this is the difference between like health and if you're running an agency or business, a lot of the health stuff has to be backed up with evidence and studies. Um, with business, you'd have to go ahead and use like testimonials, case studies, or what I would do is use um, quotes from a Buddha, which is a big undeniable authority. Like if you take somebody like Tony Robbins and he makes a claim, um, most people are not going to refute that claim. They're going to believe it because it's somebody that they look up to. So you can actually anchor a lot of your claims with quoting a Buddha, which is something that I do quite often when you can't cite studies or anything like that. If I want to cite, you know, Oprah or Dr. Oz or somebody that they, your audience looks up to, um, that's kind of the, uh, one of the easier ways to, um, start a claim. So what do we have? So we have Quora and then on Amazon, there are three, three places you'll look. So when you click on, you know, when you go into Amazon bestsellers, go to books, um, put your, uh, you know, some of the keywords that you think are related to your audience. And then you, you know, find some of the bestsellers. You can do this for quite a bit until you kind of um, get your notes section built up. And then it'll kind of highlight itself for you, if that makes sense. And what you'll do is in the beginning, you start writing down topics. And then you can take this and Google search this topic, um, how dreaming can reduce stress. That's, that's, a, that's a whole hook or a big idea, right? Um, because if you're selling like how to dream more or how to get more quality dreams or how to, how to reduce stress with dreaming. So that's like a very big idea. Like I, I actually think I just found one right there. You would, you would have to then anchor it with either things that they've felt in the past where, um, or cite things where people have overcome sticking points in their life because they've had this transformational dream, which people think about a lot. Um, so actually, I'm going to write that down. So tra uh, transformational dream where they have a aha moment. Or when people feel... Uh, now my brain's starting to go to so like deja vu um, from a dream. See, like people, that's like a wonder, right? So like if you can start like thinking of the wonders of why things happen, um, those are generally like a good big idea, right? So we have Quora, then we go to Amazon, and then you look at those three places, the description, you look in the table of contents 
And then finally, you'll look in the uh, the reviews. And in the reviews, like they'll like some of the reviews, they'll actually be like notes almost of what the biggest takeaways they had were. And sometimes those big takeaways, big takeaways can become big ideas. Um, I've found a lot of big ideas just from reading Amazon reviews, and it's amazing. Like you can look at both e-commerce products or books, and they both work. Um, it's probably the best resource. Uh, and the interesting thing is, this was written by Mercola, if you know Dr. Mercola. Um, so that's pretty good. So the next spot is Reddit. And instead of just like going on Reddit, you would go to um, Google. Here's like a little function that you can use that I'm sure many of you already know is site and then Reddit um, and then search sleep. And let's see what we come up with. Uh, so what I try to do is actually like find three subreddits related to my industry or related to the product or to re related to my offer. And I follow that. So generally what you do is you like find three subreddits, three authority blogs, um, three Amazon bestsellers. Um, so I'll just start to write this down for you. So, uh, so like I just do the rules of three, um, Amazon bestsellers. Subreddits. Uh, three big questions, so Quora questions. It doesn't even have to be on Quora, so I would just do questions. Uh, this is where we like we often call them the pillars, right? So those are going to be like your um, keywords that you would search for Amazon subreddits. So I would actually just put this in the top. That's all our subreddits and authority blogs. Um, so I go in here and uh, I have Serpstat. Uh, it's a great SEO tool. Um, so I did search for sleep. Top pages. All right, so we'll come back to that. So you find the three authority blogs I was using, something called Epic Beat. You can also use BuzzSumo. Um, they're paid. Epic Beat no longer exists, unfortunately, as of last month. So I'm using other, other ways to um, find the authority blogs. And um, just like overall authorities, where you can check um, Instagram. Search. So if I were to like search on Instagram, I'd find the authorities and see what they're posting. A lot of times the social media content has a lot of big ideas um, that you can find. Um, another big thing that I look for is like the top three um, top shared um, blogs or news on, on topic. So like I'd find three of those. So um, these are some of the places that I find that. All top is great. So I've went to all top. These are just like the most, most popular sites and then the most popular things on those sites. And you can go and, you know, do uh, business. Like you do business, but um, for the sake of staying on trend here, I'm just gonna do health and see if there's anything sleep related. Okay, so if there's not, we're gonna go back to the Google function. This is all about content aggregation. So like I'm just, so basically I just like hook in big idea notes and then I start writing down things, right? It's called the brain dump. It's something you should always do before or when you're designing your big idea. Uh, another another thing, uh, where was I? Site, all top. Dot com and then we go sleep see what we got boom okay so on all top viral these are the sleeping mistakes see these are just viral things 
which sleep pattern is right for you. Fast time to snooze. Here you go. So that's, I mean, that's a big problem, right? So you can identify a big problem. This would be something that it's like something that's like shocking. Um, like what happens, like how many calories do you burn when you stay awake? Uh, See, that would be like terrible. I would actually not use that. So you'd go in here and you'd like look up your top sleep. Um, top sleep blogs on all top, um, just to get an idea. So let's see, 10 sleeping mistakes you're making. I can go through this. Wrong thing. Bedroom curtains are too thin. The sheets are too rough. Uh, here we go. Researchers found that people who watched excess news footage of a uh, distressing nature saw the same disturbing images and nightmares. So what I take from that is how the news can give you nightmares or how the news can control your nightmares. How the news and then so um, if you can find something to relate to, like how REM sleep, um, how how nightmares, like how do nightmares affect sleep quality, right? And like I would go down the rabbit hole there, right? So if I could find a study or something to say, like how do nightmares affect sleep quality? And we found out that nightmares like significantly lower sleep quality or people wake up groggy when they have nightmares compared to when they have like good dreams. Um, then you could, so that this would be like the first relation and then you make the second relation. How do nightmares affect deep sleep? So if the news creates nightmares, right? And then nightmares lower sleep quality, how does the news watching late night news lowers sleep quality right so what would that be that wouldn't be a big idea but that'd be a hook right so it's something that is uh curiosity based um it's interesting uh, it would get me to click and it's not too complex right and it's it's written in language that's you know good enough for a fifth grader so that was really the only thing that I could pull out that was kind of like a, a light bulb or an aha or something that would like catch somebody's eye. Um, if you go to all top and then viral, that's pretty solid. Um, you can relate other industries to your own and use kind of the angles and hooks and relate it to yours. Um, that's how I often find big ideas too. So if I went to viral, um, if I was selling a health product, I could just go to business, right? Or I could go to, um, I could use any of these um and try to connect it so all top is also another good place the conversation is good because it's something on top of mind what's trending is always good um the only thing is i don't think they have a search function so i would just do the site again oh they do okay so i'm not saying that they likely have something around sleep but it's worth a check right So this is not necessarily where you're going to find um, a big idea, but it's where you'll find uh, like a, a hook or an angle for a Facebook ad. If that makes sense. How stuff works. It's kind of introspection. Do I have a way for why on here? 
I don't. Okay. So I'm going to add that on there. Wait, but why? Wait, but why? So you, when you create your big, big idea, you always work backwards. So um, what is the one transformation that you're promising to your audience? Um, and then like, well, you know, for this one, for example, it's proving that we're, we're going to help them sleep better. So this is why I'm researching sleep. So if you're helping people get more clients online, um, or make more money online or get more sales online with yada, yada, yada. If, if you are, um, like an ad agency, like some of the top blogs that I would look at ad leaks by Tim bird. Um, he still runs that. He doesn't run uh, his agency. Y anymore? That was bought out by these guys in San Diego, but he does this. So, you can find, uh, if you have a, a tool like this, you can find like their top logs. But see, it started to um, pop up with the sleep top sleep pages. So I have a ton of content now. So 331 sleep challenges, why it happens and what to do. Um, that's probably one of the best things I could look at. Um, nerd fitness. Are you making these snakes with your sleep? Um, Mother Mag sleep training. Um, so this tool is probably one of the best that I've used um, to finding some of the most interesting content to use for big ideas. Um, and I don't want to go through another topic right now, but um, if you'll get the idea. SERP stats pretty awesome. Uh, so website analysis. Domain, um, so I'll put the root domain in here. What I'm trying to do is find like t uh, some of the top content. Pages with highest visibility. Benefits using Facebook to grow your YouTube channel. So those are some of uh, the concepts or ideas on how I would um, search my big idea. So some of the biggest things that I would search for. So questions or pillar, uh, are your pillars. Um, you'll find that on Quora. Uh, Wait But Why. Wait But Why is great. Um, so if I search sleep. I actually just like the Google function better than the search functions here. Um, they'll just kind of give you a better overview. Most of the time, you can go to Amazon and look at the description, look at the um, table of contents, and then look at the reviews, and you'll be good. So I'm going to share this with you guys. Um, table contents, reviews, and uh, description of three books. Those are kind of like, that's the biggest thing. Um, subreddit, I'd find three of those. And um, one related um, either to each of your three pillars, or you can get deeper into the problem. So like sleep, might be one Reddit uh, subreddit, and then you might do one deeper, like uh, deep sleep or REM sleep, and then one like in that deeper realm, like um, insomnia or something like that, related to what your how your audience might um, refer to themselves as. And then you just want to write down like some of the authority blogs. And the biggest thing is once you have all of this, um, what you're going to do is start taking a big brain dump and take notes to try to find your big idea. Hope that helps for you guys. All right, hey, if your business is doing twenty to $50,000 per month and you, you're, you're kind of like stuck in this little spot there, you're, you're running most of the things by yourself, you're doing pretty well, uh, but you don't really have like a team built and you want to start scaling and, and you, you know that paid traffic is going to allow you to do that, but you're just 
kind of not sure how to get that whole thing working and how do you manage all of this along with everything that's on your plate. Um, if that's you, then I've got something for you right now. Um, what we've done is we put a program together that I call the directive and it's geared just for people like you that are in your spot right now. It's meant to help you get over that hump and be able to put the processes and systems in place that not only extend across your paid advertising but also into the back end of your business so that you can scale up your business to the six figure mark per month and beyond. That's exactly what this is designed for. And we've got a, a private group here that we